there's very few areas on the Volvo 140 that we actually bother strengthening it. It just doesn't need it. However, one of these is the lower wishbone. This here is the wishbone from the London to Cape Town rally, um, right at the beginning of the Ethiopian section actually. And what has happened is this 3 mil spring plate has a couple of captive nuts tack welded to it that support the shock absorber bottom mount. And these simply fatigue with the sort of rapid oscillation fatigue that we get on a tough rally like the London to Cape Town or the Peking to Paris, it simply cracks around the two captive nuts. So this is the repair that we uh, had done by our guys down in Ethiopia that we found by the roadside who are making window frames um, and, and that got us through the rest of the rally. So in order to avoid this type of fatiguing, very simple, you simply buy one of these little plates off us and bolt it in place and then seam weld with your favourite TIG set around both the outer diameter and the internal diameter also. And that laminate that you now have created is plenty strong enough for any rally. So that's what we do to the 140 lower wishbones. The other two areas that we're going to look at in a moment, firstly we'll look at the cross member which we seam weld all the way around and we add a couple of webs to it as well to try and stop the turrets from collapsing inwards and finally we'll look in the inner wings as to what, uh, what we specify there and that is the entirety of the strengthening we do. You could also say that uh, we tie the roll cage into both the A posts and the B post. Uh, you can often see when pushing hard about two centimetres play between the top of the roll cage and the roof of the car. Uh, it's quite disconcerting but the car seems to handle it perfectly well but just to stiffen everything up we tie the cage in to both of those posts. So four points at the top of the roll cage tied into the shell. Let's go and have a look on the car. So here's my beloved 142 and let's just zoom in on the left hand rear view there and we can see the two additional webs that we fitted behind the turret and equally on the right hand side those two additional webs. Okay, and so the front view of the cross member on my 142, noting the full seam weld that runs right around the periphery of the cross member. And then up on the left hand side here, we have the three webs this piece here, this piece here and this one just behind the idler and they all tie in to this big bracket here so that should all give your turrets a bit of resistance to uh, collapsing in and the same is on the right hand side of the car so we have an outer web, a mid web and then an inboard web just behind the steering box and as I say fully seam welded all the way around the cross member. Right, let's go and have a look in the uh, engine bay as to what goes on there. Okay, so inside the engine bay, what we're looking at is the two bulkhead strengtheners just here. Now, these went through various evolutions during the life of the 140. Um, and you need to make sure you have something that looks at least like this and also noting just down here in the bottom corner all the cars should have this 
strengthener as well. If not, then either you can contact me, I still have a couple of the original panels left, so that's a uh, left hand one there that goes in across, or indeed of course, this chunky old brute is from the 240, which should fit straight in to the 140 without any problem at all. And that would be a lovely amount of strength up there in the front corners. So, we've done the lower wishbones, we've done the cross member, we've made sure that the front bulkhead and front longitudinals are all tied in nicely. The only thing that remains for you to do is to tie the roll cage into the shell at the top of the posts. And then you're going to have a really good long distance tough rally car that's good for the Preston or indeed London to Cape Town or Peking to Paris. That's all you need to do, strengthening the car. Thank you.